What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some video games that raise your stress. In the past, recently I did make a video where I shared some video games that kind of ease your stress, so I decided to take a twist on that and make this video today. Now some of the video games I'm talking about in this video, I did talk about in the last video sharing ones that ease your stress. This one's here, it's kind of in a different situation as to why they might raise your stress. So, let's just get started here. Up first is the Overcooked Games. Whether or not you play on PlayStation, Xbox, or the Switch, these games here can become extremely stressful, especially if you're playing them solo by yourself and not playing with a friend or even a rando. These games here, it's a simple concept game which makes a lot of people interested in purchasing them and trying them out because they are a fun party game. However, there is an evil twist to them because they are extremely, extremely challenging at times. A lot of fun, but be can, can become very stressful. Simple concept of the game is you are going in as a chef, you have to cook, prep, and serve your meals, do the dishes, watch out for fires, and basically run a kitchen in a very animated way. Now this game here, what makes it stressful is at times you have to do everything and you're switching back and forth between your two characters, or if you're playing with friends, then you have to obviously play with the mic so you guys can communicate. With no communication, it can become a complete disaster. And even with playing with my friend Jack, we have become very stressed out on this game and it can only play for a short amount of time because of that. Now these games here are easy to platinum and easy to go through the levels and try to get three stars on all the levels. However, after a while, it is very stressful because you are timed. You have to serve so many dishes to be able to get the three stars in a short amount of time and it can become very, very difficult. So whether or not you're playing the first one or Overcoach 2 or even the newer one, it is stressful for all of them. So keep that in mind if you're going to attempt these games. They are a lot of fun, but it can become very stressful. Next up is a game called Little Nightmares. The first one and the second one, both of them in my opinion are a lot of fun. I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite games. That's why I continue to purchase them every time that they do have a new game come out. And it's just, you are this small little creature and you go among all these monsters in this big atmosphere and it's just a lot of fun. Kind of open worlds, but very basic of what you have to do. What is stressful is sometimes you'll hit the button or you'll do what you're supposed to do, but your character, it'll glitch or the mechanics aren't 100%, so you'll get caught by the bad guy, the monsters, and get eaten or something, and you have to start over from your last checkpoint. So it can become very stressful, especially whenever you're repeating, repeating, repeating steps, and even checking out walkthroughs, a lot of times they might just happen to hit a button at a perfect time and time it right, get to the next spot, so it's not something that they specifically did different than you to be able to advance, but even watching a walkthrough, you still might struggle because it's not really something that can be addressed and mentioned of how you pass to the next level. So it is something that does, after a while, take a toll on you, and it is stressful, so it's another one that I can only play for a limited time. Next up, we have Crash Bandicoot, one of the most iconic PlayStation games, and again, it is a lot of fun, highly recommend it, but some of the time, you do have to press the button at a specific time to make it perfect, to make your jump perfect and actually count, otherwise, you might not jump over and avoid the enemy like you thought you were going to do. So even if you time it right, sometimes it's a little delay and that's what can become stressful. You know you pressed at the right time, you know you should have cleared that jump, but for whatever reason, it did not happen and you did not clear the jump. That is what is stressful at times, but it is still a blast to play these games. Next up is Apex Legends. This is actually one of the games that I included in the last video because it is fun just to relax sit and play this game but what is stressful is whenever you have terrible teammates and you are going and number one what is stressful is whenever they're stealing all of your loot but number two is whenever they're terrible and an enemy you guys do come in contact with an enemy 
and they just run. This is something Jack used to do all the time and at times still does, which is very stressful because I'll be engaging with the enemy, he'll be running the other direction. So it can become stressful in different situations, but also a lot of fun in other situations with, with this game, which is why I'm including it in this video and in the last video as well. Next up is going to be Grand Theft Auto Online. This is one of my favorite games, and honestly, I've been burnt out on this game in the past. I did pick it up recently again, but I've recently stopped playing it once again just because it's not one of those games that I like to play by myself solo. I'd rather play with my friend Jack, but he doesn't get on as much as he used to. So this game here I try to avoid now, and a lot of times whenever I go on, I'm trying to run either my MC business, my agency business, or any of my other businesses that I have on GTA Online. And one of the struggles is, and what makes it stressful, is whenever you get in a lobby with a lot of people, or even not too many people, but there is a lot of kids that just want to go and destroy everything you are doing, or just try to kill everybody with a lot of the rocket cars and different things like that. That is becoming stressful, and especially if you're trying to get on to do any of that stuff, and you're trying to find a session that has nobody in it, or very limited people in it, and you might have to try to keep finding a new session, finding a new session, finding a new session, it might literally take an hour. I think the longest it took me to find a session that had nobody in it was an hour, and that's just me repeatedly hitting the button to find a new session, waiting for it to load in, finding out there's a lot of people, and then hitting the button again. So it can become very stressful the longer it takes for you to find the session, especially if you're getting killed over and over again. And the last game we're gonna be talking about in this video is a game that I haven't played in quite some time because it was stressful, and that is Battlefield 2042. This game here is a game that I have absolutely loved the previous two Battlefield games, which is why whenever this game was released, shortly thereafter, whenever it was on sale, I did purchase it, and I kind of regret it. Now this one here, they took the concept of just having it an online game, but you couldn't at the time check your stats, which is stressful because stats matter to me and that's how I improve. If I see my stats or see my stats a certain way, I know what to work on. No idea what to work on, it's just a matter of going online and playing. And the last time that I played, I couldn't even get a match through because the servers were just extremely glitchy, the weapons just were not firing correctly or working properly, and any of my other tech was just not working. I love the idea of the maps being larger, but in a way they're a little bit too large, and it's not how Battlefield used to be. I get the concept of things are changing and it's more futuristic, except it's just not the same. So with it glitching and not being able to see your stats and everything, to me, it was an extremely stressful game to the point that I honestly stopped playing it. Now, hopefully they are gonna have more and more updates in the future. And I think in a couple months, I might try to attempt to pick it back up because I absolutely loved Battlefield back in the previous two games. Loved them, I played them a ton. I even platinumed to Battlefield 5, which was extremely difficult, one of the hardest platinums to do, but it was a lot of fun. So hopefully I will pick this game back up, but this is my list of the most stressful video games that you can play. Of course, there's a lot more horror games and other things like that. Those I wanted to kind of leave out because horror games of their own, they are stressful because there's a lot of jump scares and different things like that that naturally raise your stress, but these games here are ones that are kind of easy, but in different scenarios can become stressful, and that's what I wanted to include in this video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave this here. Comment down below other stressful video games, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.